All right, so this is about a three-minute video that shows how ATIS works. You saw the illustration earlier. All you need to be aware of here is we're considering this the top of our aquifer where you see the brown line, and this is the bottom of the aquifer that we're using. The yellow water represents neutral water uh, that we find it there in this uh, case in, in Georgia. Maybe it's – or even in Pensacola, it's, you know, in the high 60s, low 70s. And the cloud here you'll see change to the sun in a minute. That's just representing that it's cooler weather and it's winter time. All right, so we're going to start with year one operation now. And uh, we're going to start pulling some water out of the ground, represented by those yellow spheres. So we're pulling out neutral water at, just for discussion purposes, 70 degrees. And we're sending that water to our building. Uh, we pass straight through without utilizing the reversing valves, go into the chiller. It pulls some heat out of there, the heat pumps, sorry, cools it a bit illustrated by the teal water and then because we're in a hot climate if we've got some cool air we want to we want to chill it down even further so as you can see in this slide we take that teal water right here that's going in we're going to pull more heat out of it and make it cold and that's why that's illustrated by the blue spheres pass through the reversing valves and out to our cold well and so th that's the way we're operating that first winter if we pull back a little bit we see an illustration of the wells the, the warm wells are are delivering the neutral yellow water to the building. The building's cooling it. The dry cooler's getting it even colder. We inject that down into our cold well. You can see the white well in the center illustrated and the water now mounds up near the surface. And then that hydrostatic pressure is pushing that cold water out into the geology. And that's our cold stored water that we're gonna use the next summer. You know, it could be millions of gallons, tens of millions, or even hundreds of million. All right, so now it's the spring. We can't use the airside economizers anymore to cool the building. So we're going to pull that cool water out. It's going to come out of the building red or hot. And if it's cool enough outside, or if we have a cooling tower or adiabatic dry cooler, we may dump some of that extra air, uh, extra heat to the atmosphere. So as this cold water is going uh, out to the building, you know, it comes back warm or hot, as you see there with the red spheres. If we can dump some heat, if it's not too hot outside or if we are willing to evaporate some water, we'll cool it. Uh, you can see illustrated by the water turning orange. So it's kind of tempered water now, just a little bit warm because we don't need a whole lot of heat each winter. So we're going to put that warm water uh, down into the warm wells or the warm ATIS wells. So here the orange spheres come marching in. They fill up the well. The water mounds up to the surface. we got our hydrostatic pressure. And now we start pushing the warmer water or tempered water out into the formation, displacing the native yellow water. So in a, in a warm climate, uh, this water might only be, you know, maybe five degrees warmer. It gives us a, an increase in heating performance, but we don't need a whole lot of heat, so we don't store a lot of heat. As opposed to the cold wells, you know, depending on where we're at, we might try to get that water down into the low 40s so we can use it as actual chill water. So anyway, eventually summer ends as it's starting to do here in the south. It gets cooler. Uh, on the cooler days, we can pull that uh, temperate water out of, the, out of the ground, out of the warm wells. And then that warm water passes uh, over to our building and our building extracts some heat out of it if it needs it. Uh, and then if it's cool enough outside, as we said before, uh, we can cool it down even further with the dry cooler, and then we send it down. So primary thing we're trying to illustrate here is just the difference between the first winter season when we're using temperate water and then the next winter season when it might be slightly warmer. If we were in a really cold climate, you would have seen this illustration done with, you know, red water on the, on the illustrating the hottest water on the warm well and just slightly cooled, maybe green water, if you will, on the cold well. So the design of it just depends strictly on whether you're cooling or heating dominated.